Hey y'all, and welcome to Skyrim Scripting. On this episode, we are installing Skyrim. Uh, pretty much the basics. Uh, if you have Skyrim installed, and if you have it installed in a folder outside of program files, then head on over to the next episode where we are going to install the Skyrim Creation Kit and get you making your very first mod. But right now, I'm just going to install some stuff. Um, I have a freshly reformatted PC. You may have heard that in the introductory video to this series. and. Uh, I don't have any stuff installed except for my screencasting software. So let's install Steam. If you've already got Skyrim installed, uh, I don't know the easiest way to, uh, I don't know, search them interwebs to get your Skyrim outside of the program files folder. Um, when I have been using Creation Kit, I started recently running into some issues when my Skyrim was in C program files, particularly with something called the creation kit fixes and the creation kit fixes are kind of critical for your modding life you don't need it but you'll probably wait like three minutes every time you open up the creation kit and like 10 seconds just to close the creation kit instead of uh waiting like i don't know like 10 seconds for the creation kit to load and it closing instantly like it'll make your life so much easier so let's just install stuff uh, I'm even going to change my background. This is a freshly reformatted PC. Like, here's my screencasting software and my drivers for my microphones. So here we go. Now just hang out with me. I wish I could, ooh, okay. My X split is uh, uh, cutting off my jacket a little bit less. It's just reformatted and my, um, my like green screen stuff keeps cutting off my jacket. It's really annoying. I don't know a good way to fix it. Okay, the screen might go black now. Ta-da! It went black because Windows was like, hey, do you want to install this thing? And I'm like, yes, I do. Now this is the most important screen. We're just going to get rid of program files right there. We're just going to put it in C Steam and it's going to make the rest of our lives so much simpler. There's some other games that this impacts too, but we care about Skyrim Special Edition. We're gonna run that Steam. I'm gonna grab my credentials from off screen. They're here somewhere. There we go. Now I'll pause when Skyrim downloads, maybe, or I'll, um, I'll just set my background and I'll show you how to get the Skyrim mouse cursor because I use that in all my episodes and I'm very sad that I don't have the mouse cursor right now. It makes me real uncomfortable. I need it. All right, this should ask us to log in in like three, two, one, log in. I tried to record this yesterday and the, uh, the Steam login server was down. The thing that sends you this email, um, where's my phone? It was super frustrating. I just reformatted a PC and I couldn't actually put, um, Skyrim on it. Oh my god. I can't tell you how annoying that was. And Steam kept like tweeting like, hey, go to our store and download these cool games. There's a deal on it this weekend. And Twitter was blowing up like, we can't. <laughs> we can't because we can't log in. Cool. Boop. Sure. Install under C Steam. I don't know if you saw that. Boop. That's what we want. Um, there's probably a way to um, configure Steam to like allow this. I don't know uh, if you've already reinstalled. I just reformatted. Uh, I've reformatted my computer like 10 times over the past week for recording this screencast tutorial series. I don't know if you heard a car honk uh, its horn a second ago. I've got like construction around here. Got a bunch of leaf blowers. Keeps messing up my episodes, y'all. Don't they know that? All right, so this is installing. It's gonna take a whole four minutes. Let's see if we can grab my favorite mouse cursors in that time. You can find a um, a, a link to them, uh, excuse me, in um, all of my video descriptions. I put a link to my background, even though it's public domain, and I put a link to the mouse cursors and my um, Firefox theme.
we can see that in the creation kit later. Uh, we'll probably make a NPC and we'll put them in Riverwood. What if I don't watch NPC tutorials out there? Cool, and it makes us some random dude. Woo! And we're in Riverwood. We can piece out of this at any time by hitting the tilde uh, console. That's what I did a moment ago to get to COC. So tilde, open up the console. Uh, I've got a screencast tutorial series where I'm teaching you how to make your own console commands. Um, but we just want to queue, 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 to peace out, and hit enter, and it will go to the desktop. So before we end this episode, let me just show you a uh, great um, INI editor, and it's called Beth INI. So we're going to search for Beth INI Skyrim, and we should get the special edition version. And we're going to download it from files. I need to log into Nexus. Um, if you register, it'll ask you if you want a premium account for faster downloads. Don't feel like you have to do that. The slow downloads are, are fine, especially for all the screencast tutorial series. We're not going to download like multiple gigabyte packages. Um, but I do that for my personal mods. I like HD all the things. How does it know? How does it know? And we should put this somewhere. Um, throughout our episodes, we're going to be downloading tools for Skyrim. So let's just make a folder. Uh, I'm going to change quick access so it only shows the stuff that's in quick access, not recent stuff. And uh, in my screencast tutorial series, the way that we're going to get around the file system is using quick access. We're going to put all kinds of stuff there. For example, first thing we should put there is the Skyrim Special Edition folder. Click on Skyrim. Click on the cogwheel. Go to Properties and turn off that stupid overlay. Close. If you want the overlay, like for screenshots, keep it. But um, don't call me someone right now. Scam. Um, but it gets really in the way when you type into the console, it gets really in the way. You can change its, uh, the key that gets used to open it and make it something that's uh, a little bit more, uh, ease, more challenging to accidentally type, but um, I just hide it because it's really frustrating. We want cogwheel, manage, browse local files, and it should bring up a new file editor, it did takes us here. C, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Skyrim Special Edition. Uh, it might be C, Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Skyrim Special Edition, if you didn't install it outside of Program Files, um, which if you're watching this tutorial series, you should probably uninstall Skyrim and Steam and reinstall Steam if you accidentally did that, which is okay. It won't take long to do. Um, here's the launcher. Here's our data folder, which we're going to care about a lot in our screencast series. So we're just going to pin Skyrim Special Edition for now. We'll do other folders as we go along, but let's also do, let's make a Skyrim directory like I did before. So I'll do this, boop, here's Skyrim. And let's make a tools folder. We're gonna have lots of tools that we install along the way. Beth I and I, we'll just drag that over there. We're gonna have a lot of tools in here, so I'm just gonna clean up some of their names. So we'll just call this Beth I and I. I'm gonna run it. It's gonna ask us to choose a game. Skyrim Special Edition. And then uh, what you usually wanna use this for is check recommended tweaks and then choose a preset. Uh, again, I've got a laptop and it uses the low preset. Low runs better than poor for some reason. And it, I get 60 frames on like this integrated Intel laptop. Um, we're gonna do high, and that's it for now. Uh, one of the best things that this just did is uh, it sets an I and I that turns off the intros, that thing that goes bum, bum, bum. It's this thing. So we won't get that bum, bum, bum. It's just gonna go straight here, uh, which is super nice because we're gonna be opening up uh, Skyrim like a million times and going to various places. Let's head on over to the Winkin' Skeever. That's one of my favorite places.
and there we are. Hello, we can ask him all about why it's called Winking Skeever. And we can peace out at any time. That's it. Um, in the next episode, we are going to... Um, uh, do you want to keep the changes you've made? Whoops. I do want to keep the changes I made. Recommended. Hi. Save and exit. And we'll also use this later to um, turn on some papyrus. That's the scripting language options. But we don't need to worry about that right now. Um, no. No. Whatever, that's fine. All right, peace. Let's install the creation kit. You ready? Head on over to that video playlist and click on the, uh, I think it's called like install creation kit and make a mod. All right, happy modding.